Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. This is the coolest shotgun your grandpappy doesn't want you to own. Have you ever wanted to piss off a FUD? You know, vein popping in their forehead like they just deadlifted 350 because they're mad at you because you ruined a perfectly good shotgun? Well, this is how. Form 1, Remington Model 11 short barrel shotgun. Let's take a closer look. My inspiration for this project came from the Bonnie and Clyde Whippet examples. I wanted to keep the stock as a regular length of pull, so I shortened the barrel end of this one. I pretty much worked on this project for a long time. This was my last pre-41F submission. Somehow the ATF lost my form and payment with it, and then by the grace of their kindness I was actually able to resubmit my form because I actually had proof that it was delivered to them in their hands. After that I had to have a local stock maker fit a new stock to it since the factory was cracked on the back here and I couldn't actually find one that fit. This is a Series 2 Model 11 built in the 1920s. Note the inside the trigger suicide safety there. So stocks are hard to come by. The original firing pin also broke after a few hundred rounds and the four that I actually sourced for it were all just a hair too short so I actually had to have the tool room in our work make me one. Since I've had this project a while I've posted various Facebook and Instagram videos of the different modifications I've done. One of them that I've done is the Browning two-piece carrier here. This essentially allows you to load uh, shells in the magazine tube without having to press the magazine release right here or sorry the bolt release right here or if you have the bolt locked back and you insert a new shell in the tube it automatically loaded in there for you speed feed I think it's called if this is the first time you've seen a model 11 or Browning a5 they are recoil operated shotguns there's a spring that you see right here and a brass bushing that depending on how you arrange the brass bushing and this metal shim here are set up for light loads or heavy loads like buckshot and slugs Currently this is set up for light loads like your birdshot or your federal bulk pack from Walmart. The barrel assembly actually recoils into the rear of the shotgun. The gun runs buckshot great, does have occasional trouble with real branded shotgun shells as well as birdshot. It doesn't like slugs for some reason, but that's been that way since I've got it. And since this is more of a conversation piece slash range gun, I don't really mind. I have an 870 for that. I had Taylor P, aka Bueller Ballistics, cut and thread the barrel for Remington chokes. I added the door breacher brake that you see here. I actually had to clearance the forearm since, as I mentioned, the barrel recoils. West Michigan Cerakote did the Cerakote job on this. It is a midnight bronze and graphite black in a battle-worn finish. I may have to end up changing the bead sight as it shoots a little low, but so far this is probably my favorite shotgun. Someday down the road I'd like to get a spare barrel, cut it a little longer and thread it and see if the uh, Salvo 12 would run pretty well on this bad boy. As always I'd like to thank any of the vendors that I worked with on these projects, especially Bueller Realistics, West Michigan Cerakote, and Numeridge Arms is pretty much where I bought most of these parts for this gun at when I was rebuilding in the process. And you all for watching, until next time, catch you at the range.